One of the best uh, times to go out if your goal is to get laid using night games. So, yeah, go for it, dude. Uh, can we get a down to marker for the whole FNF crew? Y'all legit. Thank you, bro. We've been going really hard in the paint. <laughs> Like a Panther, uh, ladies, you think you deserve a better man than your father was? Why do women feel entitled mm. to a better man than their mothers got? Wow. wow. Because Ooh. you saw the Ooh, shit so she deep. went through. Yeah. That's a good that's question. That's my answer. Can so we, like, we yeah. answer that? That's, yeah, a good yeah, yeah. that's a really so good question. with Kazakhstan. Go ahead. <sighs> Everybody's going to do that. <laughs> <laughs> Motherfucker. <laughs> oh. <laughs> You've seen some things. You Ooh. kind of like set some standards in your head, like what things can be. And obviously, you grow up, you evolve, and you want better. You want better than what your parents had anyway, right? Your mm -hmm. parents like raise you to have better, to achieve more. I don't know. And obviously, you're gonna earn more money. You're gonna get a better job. You're gonna have a better house. So you gotta kind of have a better man too, right? Right. Okay. All right. Like Generational that. evolution. Okay. I like, I like that. that word evolution. What about you? Yeah. Dude. Um, I think my dad's the best. I grew up watching him cheat. I actually like helped him. Like I would text wow. one girlfriend while we were with the other one. Oh shit! Rest. Yeah. Um. W daughter man. Yeah. Shit. <laughs> but she kind of yeah. said cheating. I'm so confused. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I, 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 yeah. I thought of all people you would be able to accept it the most. Um. I'm there now. <laughs> okay. You just took this podcast and your dad to do it. Oh, no, my choice. Yeah. Yeah. Um, but <laughs> my dad is like a high valued man. Like, he does take care of his women, he does everything that he's supposed to. So, like, now I'm like, you know what? Like, I would love a man like my dad. Like, you know? So, all right. Whatever. It's fine. My mom was literally the woman that you proclaim that we should be to a man that she gained absolutely nothing from. And she is the epitome of why. If I'm going to deal with anybody's bullshit, there better be a bag involved. Okay. Period. So she made you she made you kind of say, I um, I will tolerate the infidelity or whatever it may be. But you, I got to be provisioned for. Hell yeah. Okay. All right. Hell, hell to the yeah. Okay. Um, <clears throat> like I, like I said, you know, I watched my daddy cheating. So, uh, my dad always provide. He was a money guy. Okay. He was like, what did your dad do? Oh, never mind. <laughs> So one of those types of things. Yeah. So you know, for him, for him, money was like some for you, some for you, a mm. property for you. That, that, you know. Yeah. Mm. So that was like amazing. I always was like, yeah, I want to go to my daddy with a lot of money and buy me stuff and shoes and clothes and da, da, da. you know, I wanted that. I still do. I'm cool with it. You know. Right. I mean, ideally, like I said in the beginning, we want that fairy tale, but. Fuck yeah! I'll take the money and sister wives. Okay. Yeah. Um, my dad's amazing. I mean, I honestly, if I could find a guy, my dad always raised me that you need to find a relationship that they love you, take care of you, they're gonna be with you. I mean, maybe that's why I'm delusional. Did he tell you anything <laughs> about like he's gonna want to cheat? Um, no, he, oh, he never. I mean, my mom left him actually. So if not, they he's would a probably. Nice guy. He's a nice guy, but um, yeah, maybe he should have told me many shit, and I would have grown up with it. He was probably mentality. he was probably wasn't that type. Yeah, you know? yeah, he was a nice guy, so he told you yeah. what nice guy like what pick nice a nice guy, guy but you yeah. know you <laughs> didn't pick a nice guy at all. You picked an athlete. You picked a bad boy. So mm -hmm. bad boys, bad yeah. boys. Uh, what about you, Ice? BBC up. <laughs> <laughs> because again, we up. <laughs> well, it's funny. It's so crazy just to hear like everyone's fathers was a cheater. Like my dad was a cheater too, but mind you, he was 83 years old. Like I, I used to watch him. Like my dad is old. My parents were old. I was adopted. So, oh, okay. Um, <clears throat> how can I say this? I would see him walk down the hallway after like him coming after work. Like he'll shower, walk down the high hallway, see a other old lady just creep up. <laughs> Next thing you know, my, my dad is gone for like a whole hour. Oh my God. I, I, I walk back in the house because oh I used God. to play outside. I walk back in the house. There's food on the table. My dad's eating. Like everything's normal. But then again, <laughs> like my mom and my dad both lived in like separate rooms. That okay. was the only thing. Like my mom was with me in one room and my dad was in the other. Hmm. She ain't like dealing with him like that. But she'll cook every day faithfully. There was food and the house was clean. 
Mm. So, mm. I've always wanted to ask that though, like men consciously, don't you guys get scared of losing the woman that you have home that's cooking, cleaning, doing everything, and just for that one if woman? If she knows that's her role correctly and she knows that she's secured, honestly, like how my mom used to say, she'll leave the Viagra in one slipper and take the hundred and call it a day because mm. she she's you're you're in an area where you're not lonely you're secure and there's financial stability are you really going to jump around men to men to men to not have that no true but because also, if you fuck everybody you're a hoe and nobody will take you serious you no, know what that's i'm saying true but in general like do men feel consciously guilty when they do this knowing that no. they have a good woman at home no no, no. Any, well, anyone can have any bitch can I mean, do that i mean i think i, I to answer overeats. her question to, and to answer her question uh, seriously i get exactly what you're saying like you got a good girl at home uh, and you might lose and, and her you might lose her that's why they lie that is the exact exact precise reason why they lie and i got you but consciously like while you're in the streets meeting this other woman don't you think in your mind like oh if I actually do this and she finds out some type of way. I got your answer right here. No. The innate need. No, 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 no. I'll, I'll answer it. The innate need to procreate and that sexual urge to have sex with other women overrides that. Well, that's why men have two heads. <laughs> the thing with the other one. Yeah. When they go on the street, the one down there, a lot of the times wins the battle with the one up here. The yeah. blood just keeps yeah. pumping. Yeah. It it's stop. like it's and, and women will never understand because women have 10 times less testosterone than men. You guys don't have the same. Uh, urge to have you got you don't have the same urge to have sex with as many uh, par people of the opposite gender. Like with women, you guys are looking for quality, so you're okay with time because you're constantly getting offers. With men, we're looking for quantity, and mm -hmm. we have to go out there and get it. Mm -hmm. So it's very difficult for you to understand or fathom because you're a woman. You're coming from a quality standpoint, so you look to yourself like you already got quality at home. How could you do this? Well, the need to reproduce overrides that rationality that you're trying to come to. Right. Yep. So it's quantity or quality. <laughs> Right. That's why guys can't be honest with girls. Uh, uh, where are we at here? That's crazy. Everybody daddy cheated. <laughs> Literally. Right, yeah. uh, ladies, Literally. Think, nope, read no that one. one. Uh, guys, men in black looking chick. It's just the lighting angle and tone thighs that make her look like a Decepticon. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, have you guys seen the Ice Spice video? She peed on her fan live on stage. Opinions? Crazy oh. shit. Ooh, what? I haven't seen it, brother. I have not seen that. You go, yeah, Ice Spice. The popularity of that song shows you guys the climate of men in general. Most guys wow. are munches and fucking it's pathetic but it is what it is that, that, you? <laughs> that nigga <I'm> like, <laughs> yeah, crazy. When he eat it, he eat it for lunch the fact that songs like that are coming out and, and like you got dudes in the crowd singing along with it whatever guys I, I i'm you guys think i'm kidding around when i say that most men overwhelmingly are simps and women don't respect them <laughs> yep. that is why uh i don't know what i should do i'm 20 married with a kid i haven't gotten box what? in I don't know how long if I cheat, I know my wife will destroy me in the end. And she also sees porn as cheating, so I can't relieve myself either. What do I do? Uh, you bro, child. I don't know if you're kidding around, but the point is, is here's here's what it is, bro. What your value hell? is low. The reason why you're walking on thin ice like that with your girl and you can't do shit and all this other stuff is you basically attracted that girl by the skin of your teeth. You had a kid with her, so she's probably sticking around just because that. But your value isn't high enough, which is why she has all these rules. The lower your value, the more rules and fucking hoops you have to jump to deal with girls. The higher value, the less those uh, hoops and rules don't apply to you. So you got to get your value up, bro. That's, I already know from that right there, you're a lower value male. Uh, shout out FNF. Uh, today at work, I had to record the mileage from my truck's odometer, and the first three digits was 304. City boys, we out you. <laughs> Thanks, native Iranian. Uh, uh, Iran. uh, fresh, you got these. All right, Moto, Moto Jitsu says, keep it up fresh and fit. You're doing a world of big service. I wonder what ladies would do if they won the lottery. So finally, so financially free, would they want a man, family, or create a business? Vibrators. If you won the lottery, what would you do? 